you say something? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just playing with somebody. Probably. The map looks tight. Whoa! Terry? Where's Terry? Too much nitroglycerin. Back to the drawing board. What the hell was that, Tinker Tom? Alright everybody, this is Fallout 4. My name is Steve from We Just Play Games, and today we're going to track down my son. Hopefully. I mean, I've been putting it off for a while. I'm kind of negligent on that part. So... Alright, let's just jump in. I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the Big War. Who set off the first day bomb? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. I should probably mention Tinker Tom's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high. Real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? Voldemort? I'll take good care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive components. So be gentle, all right? I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. You got a boner for this thing, don't you? Jesus. All right, so yeah, we'll do that later. I want to find my son. Desdemona. Ready to hand over that chip, Agent? Sure am. Let's see if we can get that code you need and help out the organization at the same time. Here you go. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little Corsa chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. It's a magnifying glass? Are you fucking kidding me? That's what we needed? Okay, that's better. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Pull it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. I had to back up a little. Right, we're still running. He recently shot someone, if you were listening. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Please don't jizz on the desk. Using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. Got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Software in. Come on. Show me that sweet face. Is he always like this? Then we got it. Huh? We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah. Hey, what about me? I'm not sure how luck will hold up next time, Des. And Agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Agent Charmer. Good work. Okay. I know where to go now. Got a or, in play what? Now. Makes things really dangerous. Do I listen to the holotape? Return to Virgil. Okay, right. He is in some sort of radioactive wasteland. I forgot about that. Wait, I can just go there from here, can't I? Way the fuck out here. We quit sucking down rads. They can be that might be the withdrawal. Oh, Virgil. Virgil, my good man. I've decoded that ship. Now it's up to me and you to teleport into the Institute. Virgil! Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? Yup. Nah, I just went out for a little stroll. Thought I'd stop back and say hi. It's a good thing your survival and my humanity aren't at stake. Otherwise, I might be annoyed by your attitude. But, fine. I shouldn't have doubted you'd come back. That's right. You did get rid of Kellogg, after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? A crazy bastard. I've made some friends in the Commonwealth. Better you than me. Face like this. I'm not gonna make too many friends. You're not the only one who's been busy. Ooh, what'd you do? I do the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. That would be memory again. Some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. 
You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I literally I haven't. It's clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I've, I turned off my radio right away. Like, I haven't listened to any of this music in the game at all. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just saying, I can't guarantee it'll work. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. It depends on how many people I'm going to have to kill, but I think I can do it. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Good God. Well, that's all optional, right? I don't need their help. Get out of here. How is that awful Sorry. This is Mexican Monday. I had a lot of tacos. Okay. Map. Data. The molecular level. Just says get help. So all this shit's optional. Well. I guess that depends on who I'm asking for help from. Let's try the Minutemen, I guess. I mean, I'm the freaking general, aren't I? Hey, Garvey. Hut hut! What do you need, General? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. To find my son! Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my son. Damn. That's some bad business. Even for them. We'll give you whatever help we can. Don't worry about that. Now, assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. Yay, my own resident mechanic. And he's dressed like James Bond. What a mess. I'm sorry. Looks like encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through. What the hell? Sorry, sorry. It was it was a picture. Pretty crazy shit. You sure it's for real? Eh, let's go with sarcasm. It is, or we end up building one hell of a paperweight. Well, whoever wrote this, a paperweight is important. Talking about. All my all my documents keep flying away in the wind. Totally insane. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Anyway, the eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. Handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, He's a uh, super human on what mutant. He calls a stabilized reflector platform. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals, but it's basically not that different than the lining of a jet engine or something like that. Oh, I have jet engines. I'll just go to my airplane hangar. Good work, Sturgis. Well, don't thank me yet. 
I think I got the gist of it. But it's gonna take some time to work out the details of some of the hairier sections. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary. If you want to build it there, while you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Keep in mind, I can already see this is gonna take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Don't look funny. <laughs> yeah, I knew a human that used to look like so you. He wants me to build things so, so, so that he can build things. What the shit, Sturgis? Alright, let's get this shit done. Fuck yeah, let's do that right away. Oh, I gotta put it somewhere, okay. Uh, here we go. Big empty ass platform. Bam. I don't need more than one, I'm guessing. Hey yo, Sturgis! Fuck are ya? Hey! James Bond. How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? The fuck do you think? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Well, until we actually try to build it, here's a list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're gonna need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Console, relay dish, beam emitter. Okay. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. It's insane action, a crazy contraption, fun is catching its mousetrap. Build a contraption to catch the other mice, but don't get caught yourself. All right, uh, stuff, right? Let's get that optional thing out of the way. Data. Build, build, build. Okay, that's it. Search telecom sites for a sensor module. Pretty sure I have one of those. But. There we go. Okay. Put that right here. And nuclear beam emitter. That would have to go on top, right? Bam. Perfect. Relay dish. We want that to face outside. There we go. All done. And we need power, right? Power up the signal interceptor. That would be that one? No, that's a relay dish. Platform. Molecular beam emitter. This is actually inside the fucking thing. Let's move that. There we go. Once we got everything in place, we'll have to hook it all up to the same power grid. Gotcha. I've got the power! More power! Ah, uh, yes. That is a fucking jet engine right there. Alright. So, jump. Oh, yep. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. No? Let me get on top of this thing. There we go. Okay, wire. Yes. Did I attach it? No? Yes? There we go. Attach! Yay! Nope. You, you stay there. I gotta stop falling off this fucking thing. I'm busy. Fuck you! I'm busy! Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. Yo, I'm trying. I'm really trying. I, what the fuck? Apparently that does not work. So you need to get off of that so I can move it. Hey, Sturgis, just gotta make sure we've got enough power. No, can you don't. A few things? 
Make sure it's all on the same grid. You're on the way. You got to be able to talk to each other, you know. You're in the way. Nope. Just button. There we go. Hold it down. Blah blah blah. That's already attached. Is it? Because this doesn't want to fucking attach. Sturgis, I swear to God, if you ruin this for me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Does it need more? It needs more power? That produces three. This produces three. Really? What the fuck produces more than three? Alright, this makes ten. That's good. Okay, so it's an actual power issue. I'm not going fucking crazy. Hooray! Does that thingy still need power? I will hook you up, thingy. Get the fuck off. There we go. Yay, I did it. Sup, Sturgis? Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Yes. Ready to test chimpanzee. We test it first? I wish we could. But we've only got the one frequency code. Well, fuck. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice. That code we've got is useless. Well, let's go. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an Institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Okay, don't Frankenstein my shit up. Getting cold feet. I don't blame you. My boots are metal, they're always cold. I'm just waiting. Oh, I can't move, so yeah, I'm just waiting. Bye, Kate. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute. What yeah. What are up to? Okay. Uh, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Cool. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay, I thought okay. it was just me. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... RF. Got it. Royally Hold fucked. To your butt. Can't. The suit's not that flexible. Why is there blood on my screen? There should be no blood present in this scenario. I'm in. Uploading a virus into the mainframe now. Beep boop, beep beep boop boop. Well, shit. I'm not going to remember any of that.
Not a lot of stuff laying around, huh? Toolbox. I don't suppose Kate showed up with me? Nope. So I guess I gotta take on the, the chip thingy. Hollow tape. It's a it's called a hollow tape. I don't understand that either. The fuck did that do? Ah, I see. Okay. That it? Cool. Hello. Hi. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Sure am. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Is that the elevator? Beam me up, Scotty! Busted. Damn. Okay, well, he would like to chat face to face. That means I need to get drunk. Drunky, drunky, drunky. Let it go! What? You said step into the elevator. There we go! I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. Let me guess. Sob like story. To show you that you may have the wrong impression. Yeah, you're just misunderstood. Poor you. Kidnapping kids. This is the reality of the Institute. This place. These people. The work we do. The kidnapping. For over a hundred years. You've been kidnapping? We've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Via kidnapping. Decades of research. Countless experiments and trials. A shared vision of how science can help shape the future. That's a kidnapper. That's a kidnapper. That's a kidnapper. Our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. Very underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do. For everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. So you know. Didn't I just spend like 30 seconds going downward? Now I'm going upward. Everything looks like a dentist's office. Except that. That shit's straight out of Star Trek. Is that my son? I'm so close! If that is actually my son. No way to pick this. Tweezers! Applicator! Spanner! What's that? Can I take that? Ear examiner! Okay. Can't pick this. What the fuck am I doing here? Hey! Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. I'm your father. I am Beetle Man. Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here. 
there now. I don't know you. Go away. Father. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. And he's dressed like a gigantic beetle. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. I'm not trying to do shit. Father. Except get drunk. Help me. You motherfucker. S923, recall code Cirrus. What Listen, the fuck? Disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a What you do to my kid? We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Why? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. Let's start anew. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. God. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. He's skipping. And suffered a great deal to find your son. And not showing what he's saying. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. I'm not doing this After shit. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. What? I am. Your son. Fuck off! How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant. But a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. But why of that you? Was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. You weren't the last baby. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. Frozen babies. The Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. So he is both the father, the son, and I guess I'm the Holy Ghost here. And you... You've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. 
anything I can do to help you understand. My main question is, what the fuck? Mother. She never got to see you grow up. Neither did I! What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Fuck you, it was! Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on. Oh, poor on. you. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I don't think what you have that many more years. To ease your mind. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and that explains more his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan He never failed the Institute But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie It's no coincidence your path crossed his It seemed a fitting way to allow you us to have some amount of revenge what else can I say to ease your mind? Well, one of these things has to answer the question, why are all these robots killing people? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. The murder. Why, why so much murder? But, Director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. No, not obviously! I my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Can't we just go play catch or something? Maybe. I, I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I feel like you owe me birthday money or something. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. 
We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Every synth I've met except one has tried to murder me. Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Fine. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. This has been yet another episode where I don't get to kill anything. That is, that is fucked up, man. Okay, well, thank you for watching. This is my fucking son. The one with the bluish gray hair. What the fuck? You're so old.